guys, today we are going to Sanctuary de Zonnehut. Let's go! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we went to the Zonnehloed and I'm going to make a page about that trip and it was actually super amazing and as you could see the weather was not that good but it was actually on a weekday and normally Dries had to work but because it was so bad weather he didn't have to go and in the afternoon it was a bit better and we decided to go to the Zonnehloed. This is a sanctuary for animals who had been in danger or like other things and it is super nice to visit this because you really know that taking care of the animals is the first thing that they want to focus on in that kind of zoo. So that is really nice and it is not that big so you can only purchase a ticket for the morning or the afternoon. So we decided to just sleep a bit longer and go in the afternoon and we had such a lovely day it was really calm I think there were only like two or three families there but other than that we were just alone walking there so it was really nice and you see that like if you go in the winter versus the summer or you go when it rains versus when it is like a sunny day you see that other animals are very active so it is really cool to go in an other kind of weather to a zoo or sanctuary and as you could see I took a lot of photos we had super cool like video clip and time and photos with the brown bear and with a monkey that were really close to the window and it was just a super awesome day it was so nice so I really wanted to incorporate all of the photos so I decided to print them a bit smaller and I printed the logo of the Zonnehloed as well that is the yellow one that you see up top and I chose to print some like I don't know how you call that silhouettes of animals and the only problem that I had was that my photos are in brown and like green kind of colors and the Sonnehloot and all the animal silhouettes were like yellow and orange kind of theme so that didn't quite work out and with the paper I chose even an other color he was wearing a blue jacket and I was wearing a blue like jeans 
so that's why I chose the blue one but I don't know if the color combination is the best one that I made because it is a bit all over the place now but it is really nice and it was a super awesome day so I was like so happy and I really had to make this page in my journal. I think after all the pages that I made in the past like with making videos or even before making videos that I finally know what my style is and normally I really like the pages that have like the kind of craft paper, the brown one and in combination with one color that you see in my pictures. And normally all of my pictures are a bit in the same color range because the photos that I take are, are typically my kind of style. So I take photos that draw my attention, like normally that is green, blue, like animal colors or nature colors. So the pictures are always like... 90% of the times the same kind of vibe and kind of colors. So I think the pages that I really like the most are the ones that just make the page fit together. Like everything is cooperated, everything has the same kind of color and the same color scheme. It is a soft page to look at, not really dark colors. And if I have dark colors, it is just with a light photo and it just matches and I don't know just some pages like this are a bit too dark for me and I still like them after all but I think that I'm finally starting to find my kind of like way to journal and I think for me it took a lot of time and normally you look at like people's accounts or things like that and you have a certain feeling but for me maybe it is just because I make the pages that I didn't have that feeling but for me I felt that all the pages were all over the place and some were really nice and fitted together and some like this one were a bit like yeah it didn't quite feel like one page in my opinion and I think that now after this page I really understand what my type of pages are what I really like in a page and I'm going to try to make all of the pages that I'm going to make after this to make them in a way that I feel like happy to look back at and I feel calm and just that all the photos speak enough and not that my attention is drawn to other things like now my attention is more drawn to the silhouettes of the animals instead of my photos and yeah it is just sad that I really look first at the silhouettes and not at the photos um, but still it is a super lovely page and I think I learned a lot about this page and because I made it so I think for yourself just try to look at other designs and look at what you like and try to make it yourself and to make it your own style and Maybe just sometimes you will find it and for me it took a lot of time but I think now I finally found it and I'm super happy about it. It just makes my day happy and it just makes me happy and good. Yeah, so it is just super awesome to have your own kind of vibe and style. So just like in my opinion it feels like the pages are always the same but it is just the feeling that I have and... That is like the most important thing that you just have a happy feeling about your page after all. So I think I'm going to try to make my style in all of the next pages. I don't know if it will work but we will try. So you will see that in the next videos if it will like work out or not. Maybe my style is just something different every time. I don't know. I just like to try new things out to kind of yeah know what is my thing and what is not. So that is something that you can do as well. Just try out some things and you will see what works best for you. So I think that is the like most important tip I can give you guys. Just try it out.
I hope after all that you really liked this journaling part and that you liked the vlog part as well. I really liked making this page, I really enjoy looking at it and just all the memories that I have from that day, it is just amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys next time for a new video or maybe on Instagram for some more inspiration. I share some still photos and like reels and sort of things. So yeah, if you are interested in that, you can head to the link in the description. And if you are new and you watched this video and you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and maybe I see you then in the next video. Bye bye guys, see you next time!